Two weeks ago I made a game in three days. In this video I'm gonna take the challenge and throw it to sky. Today I'm gonna try to make a game in three hours. Yes, you heard me right. Three hours to make a game. It's gonna be harsh but I think I can make it. In the end I'm a game developer who got ton of experience with making games. So I can make this, right? No. No, I can't. Like my video that I make a game in three days, I joined the game jam for this challenge as well. And Dean must upgrade your weapons. First I start the word file to write down what I can make and choose one of them but then I realized how short 3 hours is and close it. So I'm gonna go with basics. Planning to make a top down shooter that player fight with enemies that comes in waves. Player gonna kill them and gonna use money to improve weapons. Or base. I didn't think about that yet. After that... How can 15 minutes already passed? Okay, I need to be faster than this. So I jumped into the game, start a new project and called it Secure the Bridge. Yeah, what can I say? I'm suck at giving names. I called it Secure the Bridge because of I'm planning to make the goal of the game is secure the some kind of core from enemies. I hear you ask why the name is not Secure the Core then. Uh, yeah, it just sounds cooler this way. Whatever, after that I start the project, added a cube and called in player. Called the movement script and throw the code to cube. Now we have a moving cube, that's good. There's a game dev saying like, if you want the player to shoot enemies, you need to give him a gun at least. Yeah, I'm the game dev. So I listened to that and now player can shoot bullets. This 3 hours challenge is gonna be easier than I think. Alright, all planned. <laughs> Ok I need to be faster, I made a map with cubes, this yellow box is what I mean with core and I'm planning to spawn enemies from these red cubes. Then I created an enemy which is also a cube, enemy walks directly to the core and this is explaining physics better than school. Then I coded the wave system, now enemy is spawning. I can shoot and kill them. After that I coded other 3 portals as well, they also work now. I made a basic hut which shows the money player has. Player gonna use this to upgrade and fit the team and player's money is the core's health at the same time. Enemy is trying to reach the core and if they can't, player gonna lose money. This is gonna put the limit to player for use money to upgrade or don't use money and keep it as health. Also hot shows the wave count as well. Wait, how much time left? I didn't check that since last time. Hey, what? So time is up. Okay, so that's all I made in 3 hours, huh? <laughs> I mean, of course I win, right? All basic mechanics are done. You can count that as a win. Wait, I, I win, right? Huh. That, that's the shittiest game I've ever seen. Okay, here's the plan. I still wanna develop this game. So I'm not gonna care about game jam or time limit anymore. And develop without these things. First I made a market system that player can use the money. The game looks boring like this, so I did some particles to make it better. Then I added some sounds to the game. Changed market mechanics a bit and added a health mechanic. Also I made a turret which shoots to all directions at the same time. Player can buy this turret in the market. Added particle effects to portals and some animations for core to give a more alive feeling to game. Also as you can see I made the other small features like a trail for the bullets and added a loose screen. After all of this, as final I prepared some post processing. Which is easy and efficient way to make a game look good. I finished the game and take a build. You can play this game as well, I uploaded this to my itch.io page, I put the link in the description. I think this is enough for this video, I hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Also you can give me some feedback in the comments section, they help a lot. See you soon.